a day like this, it's really, really, really helpful if you're shooting raw because there's not much detail in the sky and you can recover a lot of that detail when you're shooting in raw. When you're shooting a JPEG, it's just... All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I had a terrible sleep in the car, but it's okay. I'm out here now and I'm gonna do this huge hike. So my application told me uh, I talked about this application on the last video when it's all trails and it says that I have a really steep climb here. You can see the red on this side. I have a really, really steep climb for the first couple kilometers, but after that it should be fine. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this uh, steep climb. So it started to rain. You can see my hair. I'm starting to have a little style here, but I'm almost to the top. I probably got like 300 meters left but as soon as I saw this opening here there was a huge moose so that was really cool I didn't even notice him he he was just staring at me the whole time I tried to get my camera out and film it a bit oh he's coming back he's coming back so I was able to take a bit of video of the moose but he's still or she uh, still right there and it's right in on the trail and I don't want to I want to give a bit of distance because usually they're not aggressive but they can be and it's a huge animal <laughs> I don't want to be I don't want to be trampled by a moose today so I'm just gonna stay here okay it looked like it moved on so I might keep going so I don't see I don't see the moose all right, well, it's always important to keep your distance, take your time. All right, so I made it to the first summit and we can kind of see it's clearing up up here. We can see the mountains, so maybe I'll sit up my camera and try to find something here but yeah I really like uh, honestly I'm enjoying the day even though it's raining a lot I don't really mind I'm you know I'm having fun here I'm really enjoying it I wish I could see a bit more of the view it's supposed to clear up in the afternoon but a day like this it's really 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 helpful if you're shooting raw because there's not much detail in the sky and you can recover a lot of that detail when you're shooting in raw when you're shooting a JPEG it's just, you're just limited. And if you don't want to do editing, that's fine. But I mean, you could, it's a, you know, if you like photography, editing is another side to it. That's really fun. Like I really enjoy editing. So if you want to try it out, it could be really simple. You could do really simple edits that can greatly improve your photography. So I'll show you an example of that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, stick around and uh, I'm going to try to find something that's a bit interesting. I haven't shot in these conditions in a while, so I'm just really excited. But it's just a big vista. We have this mountain here, the foreground, and then the background. We have a couple lakes uh, down on the left side. It's just, it's all about the, the mood. This shot is all about the mood. Just gotta make sure the lens is good while I'm taking these images well it's gonna be <laughs> a crappy night in the car sleeping in the car with all this wet gear but I mean this is worth it I'm I'm having a, a great time all right this is I think this is gonna be the shot we have a nice equal amount of mist fog or whatever clouds everywhere the clouds have a nice texture to them I'm taking some dark exposures just to make sure I can really emphasize uh, the detail of the texture in the clouds and that's why it's so important to shoot raw is to to really just recover highlights recover the shadows and bring out some detail um, so for my settings I'm around 20 millimeters I'm just focusing in the distance at f10 and I'm getting everything in sharp focus I'm shooting at 120 uh, 120 sorry one over 125 for a shutter <laughs> that was complicated and uh 
yeah, it's just uh, it's really cool scene. I don't know if I get that. I'm getting that snow-covered peak over there. Yeah, getting that snow-covered peak right there. That's so cool. Like, look at this. You can't ask for anything better. So I'm really happy with the way this image turned out, but now I want to show you the difference between RAW and JPEG. The main difference is RAW files are bigger files with more information compared to JPEG. Now the RAW file, every single pixel contains information. Compared to the JPEG, it actually groups some pixels together and it compresses that information. So the file is compressed, smaller file with less information but that doesn't mean that the JPEG image quality is lower. It just means you have less flexibility when it comes to post-processing. The main advantage of JPEG is, let's say you're taking just family pictures and you don't want to edit thousands of pictures, then that's good if you're just documenting. Another advantage is it takes less space on your memory card and the writing speed is quicker. So if you're doing sports, sports photography or action photography, that could also be a good option to shoot JPEG. Now the RAW file, it's what I always shoot with when I'm doing landscape because it gives me that creative freedom, that flexibility, more information. I could do a lot, a lot heavier editing uh, with a RAW file. So I got both of my images in Lightroom here. The first one here is my RAW image. The second one is my JPEG. They look pretty much identical. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a quick edit on the raw file. I'm gonna copy those ed uh, yeah, those edits on my JPEG and then we'll just see the difference. All right, so I, anyways, that's good enough. And uh, oh, obviously this is not the same exposure uh, as my final image. This was taken a couple minutes later I have a water droplet here, so try to ignore that. So I'm just gonna copy the settings and I'm just gonna paste it to the JPEG. So right off the bat here, we can see it doesn't look that bad, but it does look a bit different. And we can see there's a lot less contrast in the sky. So if I do a side-by-side -side comparison here, so we have the raw file here. It just looks the dark. You can see the dark, um, dark part here of the sky. It looks darker and the white parts look wider. So just with this edit, you, we can see the limitation with uh, the JPEG, a lot less contrast in the sky. So we could try to fix that real quick. The JPEG just try to make the sky a bit more like the raw file. So let's just reduce that up the contrast, the blacks and the whites here. And that should be pretty close now, especially the sky it should be pretty close to the raw file. So still more detail, I would say with a raw file, it, it looks pretty similar now, but now if we zoom into this image, will the image quality look good? I don't know, we'll see. So the raw file is on the right. Let's zoom into the raw file here. It does look noisy. I mean, there's some noise. It's not that bad. Looks pretty good. Let's zoom into the, the JPEG. And oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this on YouTube, but it looks like the JPEG, it's noisy, but it's like big like boxy, you know, it's like, it looks like I can see some vertical and horizontal lines uh, in the noise here in the image. So right off the bat here, this is a lot lower quality. It doesn't look as good. 
it looks like it looks pixelated zoomed it at at 100 um but i mean zoomed out it doesn't look that bad still for landscape photography we're not taking thousands of pictures throughout the day so you have the space to shoot raw might as well shoot raw if you want to do some editing if i just look at some detail parts here oh yeah you can see here i don't know if you'll see it again on youtube here but some of the trees here has a bit more detail than the jpeg on this side and if we just look at the clouds here just up here it doesn't look good it looks all like it just doesn't look good it looks all messy compared a lot cleaner on the raw file the jpeg just looks i mean i mean i don't know just just look at the shapes here it just obviously maybe it's because it's the extra edit i put in here because i was trying to match it up with the raw file because it was you know there was a limitation there so try to make it look like the raw file but yeah you could see there's a major 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 difference another thing to consider as well is the new denoise feature in lightroom only works with uh raw so if you want to get rid of all the noise and i feel like the denoise also sharpens your images a bit so if you want to reduce the noise and just have a better quality image at the end of your edit you do the that denoise feature in lightroom but you can't do that with a jpeg file so that's another reason why you would probably want to shoot with a raw file and that's why that's why i like to shoot raw it's just a better file it's a lot cleaner it's easier to edit so that's the difference i hope you were able to see i'm not sure if you would be if you're able to see the difference there but there was in person here on the screen there's a noticeable difference so raw files are really good especially for landscape photography so let's get back to the video all right so there's no way i'm doing peak number two there's just way too much snow i had snow all the way up to my knee and it was too difficult plus there were some trees that uh that fell down in the trail there was a big storm at christmas time and there's still some trees in the way the crews apparently in the park they said they're still working on it because they were focusing on the winter trails now now there's now they're focusing on the summer trails so there was a lot of trails unfortunately that were closed so it's unfortunate but it's still a really 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 cool spot with all these mountains and the mist up here it's just absolutely beautiful so i'm going to stay here for a couple more hours i'm going to just see if uh this uh, the sky lifts up a bit and uh, we get a bit more, I don't know, a bit more light maybe. But for now, I'm just going to try to find something. It's hard to compose because, you know, you, you might get the foreground dialed in, but then the mist lifts and then the background just doesn't, it doesn't uh, harmonize with the foreground. So then you have to readjust and then and then the mist could be thick for like 20 minutes and you're just waiting <laughs> so it's a bit difficult but i'm going to try my best to come up with one or two more images before i'm going to go back to the campsite and get a fire going and get warmed up because everything is soaked it's just drizzling but it's been drizzling since i saw the moose so all right let's uh I guess let's walk around and try to find something. Here's more examples of why shooting in RAW really helps. I had to do some heavy edits to these images, which would have been impossible to do if I shot these in JPEG. If you want to see me in my last video where I talk about one of my favorite apps for pre-planning, click or tap on the video here. And on the next video, I'll be in the same exact park shooting a beautiful waterfall. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and please like this video. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.